Hello, my name is Evan Brand, Certified Functional Medicine Practitioner, talking with you today about the three-step routine or the three-step process to a successful morning ritual or morning routine. This is something huge for me because when I don't set an intention, when I don't actually have things in place to start my day, the day just sort of flies by and I'll look and here it is 3 p.m. and I feel like I've accomplished nothing. I don't know if you've had that feeling, but I definitely have, and I wanna help you prevent that as much as possible and create more success in your business, your health, everything. So first step here, we have intention and gratitude. So there's many different exercises you can do if you're that amazing with your routine and you have time to actually do some type of morning meditation or morning ritual, then that's awesome. But the thing that I do just a few minutes each morning is to set my intention and just have a couple minutes of gratitude. So I actually have a journal, which I don't have here to show you. But what I do is I write a little simple paragraph in there. I intend to do this. I intend for this. And this could be monetary. This could be relationship wise. This could be with your health. I intend to eat six servings of vegetables per day every day this week or something like that. If you wanna attach a number to it, that's fine. If you just wanna have a simple intention about how your day or how your week's gonna go, then that's fine too. And then you wanna follow that with just a little bit of gratitude. So before you actually start the day, before you get shoved into the world, just saying, okay, I'm grateful for having heat. So like for example, this morning I woke up and our heat was out in our house and it was 50 degrees inside and we woke up and I was like, man, I didn't realize how grateful I was for uh, having a warm home until you don't have it. So just setting a couple minutes for intention and gratitude in the morning is definitely the first step. Now moving right along, number two, hydration and nutrition. You obviously can't skip this one. Anybody who is wanting to lose a little bit of weight, anybody that wants to have your brain on fire in a good way, not with inflammation, but with creativity and inspiration, you have to have the hydration and the nutrition piece. So my recommendation is 30 grams of protein and or 30 grams of fat within the first 30 minutes of waking up. So protein is more satiating generally in the morning, but I still like to have a good fat source. So if you want to do a grass fed whey protein, if you want to add in a scoop of coconut oil to that, you can add some cinnamon, which is going to act as a natural insulin, almost like a natural glucose support. I love to add some organic cinnamon powder to my smoothie. And then obviously you can add a little bit of blueberries. Don't go with mangoes, pineapples, any super sugary fruits like that, because you're just going to spike your blood sugar and then it's going to crash and you're going to feel tired. So Nutrition here, like I said, 30 grams. I'm gonna write fat slash protein. Most of the time, if you're getting a good fat source, you're gonna have protein. If you're getting good protein, you're likely gonna have fat with it. So, you know, this could be nuts too. This could be like walnuts, macadamia nuts, for example, you know, grass-fed whey protein shake. Obviously, you could do you could do leftovers, which is what I did this morning. Last night we had a steak, grass-fed steak with some steamed broccoli and a little bit of white rice. Threw some extra butter on it this morning once I've reheated that and it was delicious. So on the other side here, you have nutrition. So I like to recommend starting the morning with lemon or lime, just some type of citrus if you can handle it, if you're not reacting to it, just to help start to flush everything out of your body. If you want to do it with warm spring water, for example, or hot water, fine. It does enhance it. I don't like hot water in the morning like that. It's just, if I'm going to do hot water, it's going to be in a tea where I may add some extra lemon. So I like to do cold spring water plus lemon and lime. So for the full day, obviously, you wanna have about half of your body weight in ounces per day. So it's tough to do sometimes, but keep a water bottle like I have right off camera here and drink, pretty much I drink through the day. Yes, some people argue, yeah, you don't actually need that much water per day, but the truth is electronics, bright lights, cell phones, laptops, cameras, all this stuff does dehydrate us at some level. How could it not? And there's a lot of research done I don't have any studies to present here, but this is a realm of science that we're gonna, beginning to learn now that this stuff has to affect our cellular biology and adding in more water is never gonna be a bad thing. It's a good conductor to help all of the cells communicate with each other like they're supposed to.
So lastly, number three, action and momentum. So for me, when you start the day, it's easy to get so trapped up in the worries. You're thinking, oh, I gotta pay my taxes soon. I have to go pick up the kids at school. I have to drop them off at school. I have to go meet someone for a lunch meeting. I have to do all these things. Well, you're getting so trapped up in what you're actually trying to do that you forget about what you want to do. So in terms of action, you know, definitely you wanna set sort of a one, two, three. Just three big things, that's it, no more of task that you want to get accomplished. So I'm working on my own supplement line and that's something that was definitely a number one for me today. And then I have some patience later. So that's number two. And then number three, I'm going to cook a good dinner tonight. I didn't have a, a big business related number three. I guess doing this video technically could have been that number three, but that's it. Now you see if I had 20 different things here, it would be hard to keep up with them. So I like to use the analogy of your computer's RAM. It's kind of like if you have a web browser and you have 20 tabs open at the same time. It's like, how in the world are you supposed to focus on one task on your computer? It's not gonna happen. So close those tabs out, open that RAM, free that space back up in your brain so that you can actually focus on just a couple of simple tasks. Because if you're doing 5%, 5%, 5%, you're likely never gonna have real success. But if you're dividing yourself 33, 33, 33, everywhere throughout the day, that's a lot more energy funneled into just a few specific channels. So then in terms of momentum, you know, this just sort of piggybacks on this entire idea here, is that life and productivity with your business or your health is momentum. So if you've been doing so good on drinking water, then it's gonna be easier for you to drink more water. If you've been cutting out gluten from your diet, it's gonna be able to keep riding that same momentum that you've already done. So things are a snowball effect. Now, if you're sitting here watching and you're like, well, I don't even have a snowball effect loaded. I don't have a snowball in the chamber. Well, start building that snowball effect with some of this stuff. Get the hydration, get the nutrition, get these good fats and proteins in for your brain set your intention and your gratitude and I guarantee this momentum is going to start to accumulate for you and then eventually that's going to result in massive action therefore leading to more success so that is my three steps to a successful morning ritual another thing that I'll sometimes add in here that I didn't write is matcha so I'll just write it here uh oh matcha all right, so matcha is a type of green tea that is specifically uh, grown where they shade cover it for the last few weeks of harvesting before they harvest it so that it will increase its content of L-theanine, a very helpful amino acid at increasing GABA levels in the brain, your calming neurotransmitter. But as you know, green tea also has a natural amount of caffeine in it. So when you have this uh, matcha, you have this caffeine to theanine ratio in there that's pretty much perfect to where you're going to be able to boost your brain function back up. There's tons of studies on L-theanine, but once you combine that with the caffeine, you have this relaxed, calm energy. And I personally don't drink coffee. I'm not a big fan of it. A lot of people abuse it. So what I do recommend is you could get away with something like matcha where you have less caffeine, but you have that L-theanine to help balance you out and just create a really smooth day. And you think and feel so good when you drink matcha. So that's my last little bonus. If you'd like to schedule a free consult with me, you can click the link below. I'd love to help you set up a morning routine to increase your productivity. This is Evan Brand signing out. I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.